Дуру Салам. Здравствуйте. Джеджан Маштами. Аре Кришна Хари Рам. So today is a celebration. These next few days are a celebration of the miracles of Krishna. So Hare Krishna. And on that note, how do, would we defeat Justin Engage you? And more importantly, how would we defeat Khabib Nurmagomedov? Well, the easy answer is you need a miracle from Krishna to defeat Khabib. That's <laughs> so why I'm doing this topic today. Justin Gagey, since he fights a similar style that I fight, I'm going to give you a little bit of the chink in, in my armor. I'll give you a little bit of the, what I used to have problems with back when I practiced martial arts quite a bit. Okay. So, um, oh, why do I say Darut and Salam and Zrasvitya and all that? Because um, I got international uh, viewers and I like to say hello to those people in their native language. And since I've only seen Russians and then those languages, there's a lot of them. They say hello, their ancient way of saying hello would be Durut. Um, and then I cover the rest of them with Salam. And then, you know, try to try to do a good swath. And first off, it's a little cold in here, so I'm going to get a little warm. And we're going to move down here. All right. So, how do we defeat... Justin Gagey. Okay, Justin Gagey likes to line up very traditional. Very traditional. And then he likes to use the low kick. Alright? Well, it's there on the low kick where if you attack quick enough, you force him to go put the kick foot weight on it and then retreat. Well, there... Now he's in a southpaw stance. That left is not going to be as powerful as that right. It's still powerful. It's just engagey. He can he can knock you out with both hands, and he doesn't even have to be on good feet. Like he can knock you out going backwards. Boom, doing that. Okay. So still going to be afraid of it, but it's going to be awkward enough that I think you can either get an e pawn, or I think you can. Get that leg and then sweep that leg, take him to the mat. Okay? Now for Khabib, Khabib leans on his on his toes, he butterflies his toes, and he's up like this. And then he just turns, rotates one foot, he goes, he has the toes lined up inside the heels. His footwork is pretty remarkable he usually keeps whenever he goes to a fighting stance likes to keep the toes so now I'm southpaw now I am traditional for Khabib so it's just a step and he's always he just constantly boom boom shoot off of both legs and then he so very subtle footwork. Justin Gagey takes a, it's, it's rotated 45 degrees. He very rarely ever, I've only seen him line up southpaw on tape very limitedly and it's always just to get back to being traditional, whether or not he feels comfortable with it. So boom, right here during that low kick, you wanna force him, you wanna attack on the follow through of that kick, force him to land here and retreat. Once he is here and planted, it's hard to rotate over. So you're gonna get you're gonna get strikes that uh, not necessarily the most comfortable strikes. And you can go for the lead foot, 
you go for the back foot, right? So that is how I would attack Justin Gagey. Now, for how I would attack Khabib Nurmagomedov, um, I'm going to try to keep him in the center of the ring. And I would try to pull Khabib on Khabib. Which I would try to shoot in the center of the ring, take it down, and then gator roll or whatever. But I would be going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down in the center of the ring. Don't let him fucking pull you and just try to catch him with something. I would try to, yeah, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then, then strike him. Now, here is a cool thing. That if you try that on him, Khabib might get a knee on. That's not going to be what Justin's going to do. Justin's going to play his game plan. That, that, that's what's up. That's what's up. And Khabib's going to shoot. He's going to keep it simple. He's going to shoot, go for the waist, pick up, drive, dump the body, and beat the fucking, the will to fight out of him. That's just what he does. And with all my other esoteric videos, Khabib, he, he's not out there fighting someone else. He's, when he trains, he's just trying to get his shit so on point, it doesn't matter who he's fighting. Justin Gagey kind of does the same thing. He's just trying to perfect his craft to the point where it doesn't matter who he's fighting. So this is going to be a really interesting fight. This is going to be a... Um, you know, it's going to be a fight of the century type of deal, man. You know, the, the Tony Ferguson fight didn't happen. We didn't get to see that. So we won't know how the fucking spinning elbows works on the down low game that Habib fights. But now we get to see how the uh, stand up, the, just the stand up strike, how that works against Habib. Low kicks aren't gonna low kicks aren't gonna fucking be that effective against Khabib. I showed you his footwork. He keeps his feet so far back that you would have to do some some pretty pretty radical in order to, to get kicks on Khabib, you gotta do some pretty radical footwork. Oh, come on. Alright. In order to get kicks on Khabib, who is, who is like this, right? You're like this, right? So you're going to have to attack to one side, attack to the other side, and then try to, because what you're trying to get Khabib to do is shift and shift and then land that's a lot of work to land a strike and if you're going like that anyway to plant your your strike foot if you're going to do that much work boom boom you might as well try to kick him in the head you might as well try to land something you know in the knee on the inside muscle, you wanna you wanna really hurt him. Some of that shit is against the rules. I'm not exactly sure what the UFC rules are, but if you're gonna do all that, then that's probably what you wanna get. So, what do I expect? I expect Habib to do what Habib does. He's going to, he's just going to start taking him down earlier. Instead of standing up there and doing Habib's first round of beating on the person and then trying to angle him to the cage and then shoot in the cage because it's, uh, it's a lot easier to do five rounds that way. Man, he's just going to start just taking him down. He's going to wear on him. He's going to do leg locks. Habib's going to do... Do shit out in the open that we're like, wow. 
So this this was how to do how to uh, defeat Khabib and how to defeat Justin. But this has kind of turned into Khabib versus Justin, you know, part two, part three. I don't even know how many Khabib versus Justin videos I have. <laughs> But I just kind of wanted to explain the footwork a little more because that's the key. It's always the key. Footwork is always the key. <laughs> footwork is the most important thing. And, uh, you know, because if you don't have good feet, you can't fight. You know what I mean? Then it goes to technique. You know, I'm really proud of Masvidal for what he did against Usman. And, uh, he just, he proved. He proved it. Technique, if you're a slippery motherfucker, then no one can hit you. And if he was in better shape, if he didn't eat and party and deal with stress, doing the stupid shit like Zion Williamson, all I need is my eyeballs to see Zion Williamson's eating his stress. He might not be partying, he might not be doing dumb shit, but... He's not a vegetarian. You don't get that big eating salads. So I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end this video like this because it's the miracles of Krishna. You are what you eat, and if you eat. Food that contains clean water and the energy from the sun, then your body, which is 80% water, will have clean water and be able to do the miracles of water. Nothing stronger than sunlight here. Nothing stronger than water and sunlight. So, get your good carbohydrates, get your, get your raw veggies, you know, you get good simple proteins, plant-based proteins, and you're not going to need to cut 20 pounds. You're going to be rock solid in the best shape of your life built like this you'll have long lean muscle it's a little harder to get it but once you got it it's there forever you could fast and then all you got to do is drink a little water and your muscle comes back you need photosynthetic plants you need carbohydrates eat beans man you don't like beans all right I'm sorry you know, some, you, you, they have dairy, others don't have dairy. I do yogurt and honey, personally. And it makes me strong. Makes me strong. There's, there's not enough, there's not a lot of people that are strong as I am. Why am I so strong? Because I eat a good diet and I train all the time. And I do, you know, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I just decided. I'm going to get ripped. I'm going to get ripped so y'all believe me. That's what I'm going to do. I just I said it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get ripped so y'all fucking believe me on how to train and how to do diet. That's it. I said it. That's what's up. Uh, I done showed y'all how I would beat uh, Khabib and how I would beat Justin Gagey. I mean, it's the simplest thing in the world. Who's going to win? It's the guy who gets to do his game plan. If Justin Gagey gets to stand in the center of the ring and throw strikes, he's got the best chance to win. If Khabib takes him down, and especially the, the closer it goes to the cage, Khabib's going to win. But don't fucking forget Khabib knows how 
to throw kicks to the head. And we could see Habib do something that we haven't seen him do just because he didn't get to go to the cage as much as he wanted to. Never forget how many black belts Habib Nurmagomedov has. And he's not foolish. He's not like Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson didn't shoot. He's got world-class jiu-jitsu and he's a great wrestler. And he doesn't shoot against Justin Gagey. He just stood there and get and got hit just because he likes to stand up and fight. Fuck that. Khabib is smart. Khabib is smart. If he thinks he can fucking win a fight by kicking somebody in the head, he's going to kick him in the fucking head. So. Mupaka. Khoda Hafez. Bye, y'all.